Hi, I'm Dave Orzal, and you're watching Spotlight. Today's Spotlight is at Allen B. Shepherd High School. They have a special event coming up at uh, the end of March here, and it's their Black History Jam. And with me right now is a sponsor of that program. That it's Camille Tunstall. Hi, Camille. Thank you for joining us today. Hi, Mr. Wurzel. Good to have you here. Um, I want to ask, I've heard you have a nickname. I'd like to use it. It's a beautiful nickname. <laughs> uh, teacher and faculty and kids. Mama T, is that right? That is correct. <laughs> Do I, should I ask how you got Mama T? Oh, I'm the mother hen in the classroom, so I think it just, I don't know, the kids ask could they call me it, and it's, it's stuck. It's stuck. Okay. Yeah. What do you teach? I teach culinary. I teach cooking, food, and nutrition here. Okay. All right, good. Um, all right, Mama T, thank you for taking time to do the interview. Uh, let's talk about Black History Jam. I, I, know, I know they've had it here before. I know this year, uh, you know, COVID and, and the impact of, uh, you know, school environment restrictions has kind of changed things a little bit. Normally, this would have been in February. What is, but can you tell us a little bit, what is Black History Jam? Sure. It's uh, our culminating event during Black History Month, and it's a talent showcase school-wide. Staff, student, everyone that's a member of the Allen B. Shepherd campus can participate in the talent showcase. And uh, uh, so anybody, it sounds like you could get a lot of kids doing this. Any type of show or event or activity, like what types of things will, will you see? So it really depends on their talent. We could have magic tricks. We could have a hula hoop uh, while you balance, a, I don't know, an egg on your head. You could have some spoken word. You could have some singing, some musical instruments. So it's really what the staff talent you know, or the student body want to showcase. It sounds like fun. Yeah, it, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be really big because we've been off for two years now with COVID. So we haven't ran this event in two years. So I'm really hoping that the kids and the campus and the community will come out and show up to this event on the 25th of March. Okay. I would imagine the kids are excited to see this again. Yes, yes, they've been asking. They want to make it bigger and, and better. We've been trying to get some special guests. So if you know anybody, send them our way, you know, to make it more fun for the kids and make it a lasting, memorable event. Okay. How about, uh, can you give us, a, so it's been off, how did it get started originally? So it began years ago, my predecessor, Debbie Shannon, she was uh, one of the original founders for the African American Cultural Awareness Club, AACA. And it was an event that she started many moons ago and it just, it's just stayed around. The kids like it, the staff like it. It's a good school event. It sounds like a fun school event. Uh, a nice routine, especially this time of year, right? We're in that kind of lull period and, you know, so a nice, a nice activity for the kids in a variety of ways and something different than the regular sports yes. routine. Yes. Sports are wonderful, but how about, uh, so you mentioned uh, the event is, it is a talent show. Are, are there any other activities with it or what is that, what does the talent show look like then? So there's, there are no other activities with it. All month we've had um, Black History Month activities go on all month. And the jam is like the, the very final event or activity at the end of the month. Okay, so this is the culminating thing of, of, of Black yes. History Month. This bumped to March because of the... Yes. Re okay, I got gotcha. you. Um, so do I dare ask, I mean, how did you get started in this? And I, it, it sounds like a potentially big event if it's open school-wide and you're trying to get all kinds of kids involved. How did you get started and, uh, and who's helping you with it or do you get assistance from anybody? So yes, I, <laughs> this is definitely a team effort. I've gotten lots of assistance from the uh, immediate past former chair of the club, Rakaya Kafo. Debbie Shannon has been helping me with this. She was, she's also a past advisor for AACA. My co-teacher, Erin Quinlan, has been so supportive and been help, helpful. Um, she's the advisor for National Honor Society. So we've gotten a lot of support from a lot of different clubs, Joanna Stasiak, the activities uh, uh, chair. She's also on board helping me with things and then the, the students themselves. It sounds like quite a production. All right, good <laughs> luck. I'm, I'm so happy that it's back and that they found somebody. Uh, it sounds like you've got a good handle on this and you've got a lot of help around you. So good luck with that. Um, so if I can put you on the spot with this one a little bit, I hope it's not going to cause you to leave somebody out. But what's your favorite part of working on this? I think the students coming and having just uh, a de-stressor event somewhere where they can just, you know, um, uh, participate with their fellow classmates and fellow students. Uh, uh, take two. <laughs> 
participate with their classmates and teachers, you know, and discover new, new, um, new talents that we did not know were here on campus before. So that's one of the most enjoyable parts for me. It is, I, as a former teacher myself, I always found that kind of exciting that, you know, we see the student in the classroom, but then when you get to know them, that they have these other talents, other abilities, other skills, and you get to see them light up in another way, right? Absolutely. Whether it's a club or a sport yes. or any other activity yes. that they get involved in, that's really exciting. Yes. Um, and so that, uh, that sounds like a great experience for you and for the kids. What about, um, what do you hope people walk away from, like at the end of, you know, the, the Black History Month, the, the end of the Black History Jam, this culminating event, you know, um, what do you hope they've gained or learned from the experience? Well, I, I hope that we, uh, the, the, during rehearsals and the judging of the acts that we will uh, bring forth, teamwork, um, how to get along with others, in addition to discovering talents that we didn't know were here on campus, and how as uh, one people, even though we're African American people, we're still a part of the rainbow, and we have many things to offer, and we would just like to showcase that. Right. It, it is a great opportunity to, uh, to share in, in all the gifts yes. that we have, and all the different gifts that we bring to the table, yes. right? Good. Yes. Well, it sounds, I'm looking forward to this event. Uh, it sounds exciting. So I'm going to wish you the best. Uh, this sounds great. Good luck with it. I hope you and the kids and, and the staff that are helping have a good time with it. Yes. Thank you so much for coming and showcasing our event here at Allen B. Shepherd High School. Good luck. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm Dave Wurzel, and you've been watching Spotlight. The Spotlight is on the Black History Jam uh, coming up at Shepherd High School in Palisades. Thank you for watching.